I remember saying, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I had the flu and sepsis. I just kept thinking, I don't want to leave my beautiful little girl. Sepsis is your body's overwhelming and potentially life-threatening reaction to an infection. Every year in the United States, 1.7 million adults get sepsis. And out of those adults, 350,000 will die. I just couldn't breathe. I thought I was having a heart attack. I was nauseous. I was sick. I felt very disoriented. It had gotten to such a bad point. I woke up my husband and informed him we need to go to the ER. When I walked into the ER that night, I um, didn't realize it was the last time I would ever walk on my own feet again. I've never felt like this in my entire life. I mean, it's a really weird feeling to know like you're, you feel like you're dying. You, you know there's something there. Sepsis Alliance came up with an acronym to help people, and that is sepsis. It's about time. T stands for temperature, and that would be an extremely high temperature or low temperature that's persistent. And then I stands for infection. And again, this can be infection from any cause. This can be from a virus like the flu, bacteria, fungus, or parasite. And then M stands for mental status de decline. And then E stands for extremely ill. I was intubated for 12 days. The doctor told my husband I wasn't gonna make it. My entire family had to say goodbye to me, including my nine-year-old daughter at the time. I had double pneumonia, a hole in my lung. My feet had gangrene on them. You need to listen to your body. I discounted my body. I didn't listen. I was at a fever. I felt horrible and I kept saying, I don't want to bother people. You should talk to your family. If you're not feeling well, they're going to listen. They love you. One of the most important things you can do for your health is if you feel like you need to be seen by a medical provider, bring someone with you, a health advocate who can say, these are all the reasons why this person is not acting like they normally are, and I am concerned about sepsis. The key thing to think about is with the flu vaccine, you cannot get sepsis if you don't have an infection. And the vaccines are preventing the infection so that you don't get sepsis. The vast majority of people, if they get that vaccine, they're much less likely to die, much less likely to end up in the intensive care unit. I was in the hospital for four months and every day was a new Mama knew something wrong with me, but miraculously, I made it out. I had wonderful doctors and nurses and PT, and my family was unreal. My husband was phenomenal. And I learned to walk and run and hike and swim and do everything that I used to do almost. Once I learned to walk, it was like the greatest gift. I love technology. I'm so glad they make prosthetic legs. It's really important to have resilience and know it's one step at a time. And it's one moment at a time. But you really need to stay positive and just have your friends, your family, or get a support system. There are so many good support systems out there. They really are and you need them. You really do. They help. Going through an experience like this in the hospital can be extremely traumatic. So it's very important that you have a strong support system with you. One of the really strong things that helps patients through this process is their gratitude toward others, you know, toward their family, toward their faith. It's very important for everyone to learn about sepsis, to be aware of the signs of sepsis, not only for yourself, but for your child, your husband, your grandparents, your parents. It can save someone and time is of the essence. I wish I would have known about it. I wish I would have known what to look for because my life could be different.